Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon! Let's defend the Fahrenheit from these monsters that came out of a hole in the sky for some reason. But okay, last time, yeah, we already started toughening up these guys. And I would like to kill the enemies that can explode themselves before other enemies so I can get the full experience for killing them before they do that. Okay, so let's get Thunderhawk going on the offense there. And I'm just going to use Leviathan here instead of Garuda because I don't need to soften up the enemies to the left there just yet. But this will help us out pretty good. We don't need to soften them up yet. But uh, that guy I'm not worried about. Hell Chimera, I'm not worried about. By the way, the uh, Hell Chimera and the Temple Guards are rank B enemies. And Dictory is rank A, the boss. And everything else is rank C, as far as that's concerned. But I'm just going to use Dark Elemental Text to kill almost everything. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, we don't want to soften these guys up too much. Because these guys can explode, or self-destruct, as well. But, uh, okay, good start there. Let's have... Yeah, let's have BU's squad deal, or finish off that other squad there. But before we do that, let's heal up a little bit there. Let's see, I think we could go... Yeah, that'll be good enough there. Finally start using some of those magic gins. They are no longer too good to use, now that we have the money. And then, hmm... Let's have you... Yeah, go attack whatever you want. I don't think we need to worry about Salmando that much. But let's see, here we got a new enemy in the back there, Mage Glaive. And, well, those guys can cast various elemental spells on you. So I would like to kill them with Dark Elemental Damage, but Thunder Elemental Damage from Madalite will do as well, especially with one enemy that has way more HP than all the others there. I don't think we need to buff up or anything though. At least not right now. Not bad, not bad. All right, an excellent Sigrun there. That'll really help out the money there. Yeah, we seem to get those Sigruns pretty easily now that I'm not looking for them. Or now that I don't need to farm them for, like, my party members and stuff. Hmm. I'll see how much HP they've got left. That is a little bit of a concern. I think we'll be fine, though. I don't think enemies would self-destruct until they get down to, like, I don't know, less than 25% of their max HP. Though I don't have, it like, AI scripts or anything. I have no idea, really. Okay, so from here, I want to be a little careful. Yeah, because with this squad, uh, if there's only one more tile that we can attack them from right now. And if one of my dragons takes up that spot, then I wouldn't be able to finish them off this round. So, yeah, I'm going to leave my dragons on wait at this point. And, yeah, we've got enough SP to go one more round of Dark Elemental Techs here without buffing up. Okay. Hmm, I might be a little concerned about the Evil Beast. Why don't we have everyone attack that guy? And if the other guys survive, that's not the end of the world. Well, I mean, you know, monsters are raining out of the sky, but... I mean, you know what I mean. But, uh, eh, physical attack on one of those guys. Oh, well. We'll be fine. But, yeah, we definitely need to kill the evil beast quickly there. Yeah, it seemed like there was a little bit of lag on that first hit there. I always thought, like, whenever I... Oh, another secret. Nice. But, yeah, I always thought whenever I saw lag in video games as a kid, like... The Legend of Zelda in a room with, like, eight dark nuts or something. I always thought that that was intentional, like, for dramatic effects or something. Not for, like, a technological limitation, though I probably wouldn't have understood that at the time anyway. Okay, so with that guy, hmm, 
Okay, so I want Melodia to take out one of these guys. So let's go like this. We'll go take these guys out since uh, Melodia cannot reach this squad. And then I think it's safe for Twinhead to attack whoever they want. Hopefully the squad above me. But we'll see how that goes. We don't need to buff up here. Though I will need to buff up Melodia's squad. Just because there's... You won't deal enough damage with, without the buff there. Especially with the amount of HP they've got left. But there aren't many opportunities for me to use my magic there. But, uh, okay, a black burn. Awesome. I mean, I'm just going to sell it. It's worth good money. But yeah, any rank B enemies that you get dark elemental drops from, all of them are really, really good. Holy is nearly as good as dark, if for some reason you wanted to use those. Hmm. I'm starting to get a little more concerned about that one squad. I'm not worried about killing the one enemy there. Yeah, that'll be fine. But, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping Twinhead would attack elsewhere. Well, maybe the Evil Beasts will attack Beast Squad there. Okay, so... Hmm... I might need an assist from... Or wait, no, I can just have uh, Molten do this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if I go right here, I think we'll be fine. And then we can buff you up. Hopefully Molten will soften up that temple guard there. And then I can pretty much guarantee that Melodia will be able to finish them off. Or you could just do some healing. Why not? Okay, now I'm probably going to need an assist. I think I could deal like maybe a thousand damage per spell uh, from Melodia's squad there. Hmm, do I want my dragons to go anywhere else? I don't think so. I don't want to soften up those guys any more than we already have. But, yeah, I will go here where we've got a structure so I can get a little bit of healing if and when the enemies decide to attack. Hmm, maybe I should go down here. Nah, we'll go up here. I think we'll be fine. Let me double check that. Okay, good, good. Yeah, then... Yeah, let's try to finish off the Temple Guard. I'll see how much damage I can deal. I think I'd be short without an assist, though. But, uh, we can still go with dark elemental damage and sit through the overly lengthy spell animation over and over and over again. Okay, there you go. Yeah, now it should be pretty much guaranteed that we can finish the guy up. Let's see. Oh! Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have been able to kill the guy with or without that assist there. But we got it! Hooray! If I do get assaults from these guys, the rank B enemies, I would give them to my priests that I have in the reserves there, even though I don't plan on using them ever again. But I might change my mind on something, who knows. But, uh, alright, another armor to sell there. And we get really good experience out of all this. But, uh, yeah, you just sit tight there, and we'll see what else we can do about these guys. But at least we prevented them from, from self-destructing. Okay, with this guy, I don't think we can do a whole lot here. And I want to save my SP in the event that those evil beasts attack Beast Squad. So, yeah, why don't you... Actually, no. You defend... Yeah, Zora's son there. Maybe you could get a little damage on that guy. But otherwise... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I can get in uh, a Dark Dust on this guy before needing to restore some MP or SP. But, uh, okay, a little more single targeting damage there. Awesome. Yeah, Manolite's got the best single targeting damage. His strength is just obscenely high for his... Given his limitations. 
But uh, whoop. Hmm. Okay, this guy, I don't think I can do a whole lot here. So, yeah, and I'm out of SP for Madelite. So, why don't you guys just all defend? Well, maybe not all of us, but most of us defend here. Wait, hold on. Yeah, defend there. And then I guess you guys could use some physical attacks. Not that it'll do much. But, uh, okay. Well, yeah, you attack directly there, and... Yeah, well, that's just a lot of damage. I'm surprised they're not attacking Salmando. But, in any case, I got the enemies that I wanted to attack me. So, yeah, I guess you gotta defend yourself. Or defend for yourself there, Madelite. But, uh, okay. Well, at least I don't need to worry about killing these guys in the next round, or worrying about them exploding. But, uh, eh, not great, but at least we got good money out of them. Oh, or you could attack me that way. Okay, let's see. Mandalite definitely needs to defend himself there. So you guys all defend yourselves, and then we'll go like that. Depending on how things will go from here. I like how he twirls the spear around like that. <laughs> nice little animation there. Yeah, I'm not worried about the enemies healing at all. I mean, I probably do want to kill them sooner rather than later. But it's not like it's going to ruin my strategy or my approach. Now this could suck. Why aren't you going after Salmando? Well, goodbye, Madelite. Well, that's okay. We got plenty of Latanceables. But I am going to need a lot of healing here. Ow! Might need to use some royal drugs there. Thank you for not attacking me again. <laughs> Holy cow, that could have been disastrous. Maybe I got a little too aggressive there. Oh, yeah, we also have the poison damage. And the healing. Okay, before I forget, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, let's be a little careful here. Okay, get you going there. And, yeah, I think I'm just going to use a royal drug. Hmm. Seal up. Just a little more there. Okay, you're... Oh, wait, no, I need to restore some more of my SP there. Zora's son still has a little fight left in him. How are you doing? Yep, you need to get a bit more in there as well. Yeah, just throw these magic gins around. We're never going to run out of uh, magic gins in a single battle. It's totally worth it to get that experience from Dark and Holy Elemental Techs. Okay, so... Let's see, are any of these guys, like, really low on HP? Hmm, getting there. That one I can probably kill. I could kill the Chimera as well. Hmm. I could hit all six of them with Leviathan if I wanted to. And I would probably like to kill these evil beasts as well. Let's see, how many of us can get over there? Let's see, you three could get in there. Maybe Melodia could take out the Hell Chimera if we get a little uh, damage in there with a summon and all that. I'm trying to see if I can kill like more than a couple or more than like three squads Let's see, we got Biu, Bikibak, and Taicho. They can all get in range of these three guys. And then I can just let my dragons go nuts on these guys with their high HP. Uh, yeah, I think I'm only going to be able to kill four enemies here in this round. But that's fine. 
Okay, so if I go right there, I should be able to hit all of them with Leviathan. Yes, very nice. By the way, none of the monsters in this battle have any elemental weaknesses, oddly enough. So it's not like all the other battles where we've had a lot more help in that regard. I might want to be careful with killing those guys because they do have such low HP. So, I mean, make sure we take out the, the evil beasts at the very least. Or you could just go on the offense there. Why not? Okay, that works. I think... I think... Uh, what was it? I think Melodia Squad could still reach them. Yeah, yeah. Either above or below them. However we need to do that. Okay, so... Yeah, we can take those guys out. But I'm a little concerned about... Uh, what was it? About Salmando going there. Let's see. Yeah, you've got plenty of MP. Dragons are pretty much never going to run out of MP for the remainder of the game, other than a certain nasty battle, if you know what I mean, viewers. But uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, let's get those guys going. Fortunately, we've got Natalite to take care of the evil beast there. But again, we don't need buffs here. I'll need a buff for. Melodian squad, probably. But, uh, yeah, my melee squads, yeah, they'll be fine. And really, the magic beast, or the evil beast there, I'm not too worried about them. We should be able to finish them off before they can do anything. What the hell kind of sword is that anyway? Like a cutlass or a scimitar? Or, I don't know. But at least we got another Sigrum! Hooray! But, yeah, that does seem kind of strange design for a sword, but I I'm not a swordsman expert. I'm an engineer, not a swordsman. But in any case, yeah, just, uh, you do whatever you want there. Okay, so, let's see, I'll need Bikabak to get up there, because, well, no one else has the movement range to do that. Another thought I had was maybe having Yo-Yo Squad go into direct combat with some of those guys. That wouldn't have been a horrible idea. But I don't think so. I would rather do other things. Okay, so for you... Yeah, let's get you going there. It's hard for me to tell where I can go! <laughs> there you go. So many enemies blocking my way. Let's make a wall. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, why don't you guys all spread out your attacks there? I think we could probably one-shot them without an assist or missed. Hey, that right. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. Thunder drops sell pretty good money, just not as much as Dark Elemental ones. But, uh, wow, we, that is, like... Almost as perfect of an outcome as I could expect. <laughs> With the Sigron and the Diamond Armor there. The only thing that would have made that better is if I got another Diamond Armor. As far as, like, the elemental drops go and all that. Okay, so if my dragons ended up softening up some more of the Temple Guards there... I would have had Melodia go after them, like if they're below 4,000 HP, but as it is, I think we're safe to not kill them. But, uh, let's see, yeah, the Hell Chimera, I could kill even without help, or without a buff now. So I think I'm going to have Ice Drake stand by while we go after the last of these guys there. And, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so dark damage all the way around. I'm a little more concerned about the evil beast there. So let's make sure that we kill that guy. And then we'll go from there. Although, I think we could nearly guarantee killing that guy. Mm, 
Yeah, nine elemental drop. Whatever. We'll be fine. Yeah, that does, I guess that uh, Dark Smash lags sometimes if there's, like, too many enemies on the screen. Like, if there's more enemies, sometimes the game will lag like that with big animations like that. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XII, how you couldn't, like, cast certain spells in succession because the spell animations would get too big for the PS2 to handle. But how will the Grand Bellows Empire respond to this disaster? Find out next time on Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!